Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs, and it's that Saturday again, Saturday Live. Woohoo! It's giveaway day. Uh, let me see what is wrong with my. There we go. There we go. Oh, gotta wait, sit through an ad, and I gotta turn it back to live chat. Don't you just love how when you got the chat up, it just automatically when the video starts puts it back to top chat it's like for real youtube anyway hello everybody let me say first hello to my moderators i see shannon and i see moose i think larry was there i'm not sure but anyway let's give it let's give my moderators a round of applause I couldn't do this without you guys. Y'all are awesome. My MOAs, Mods of Awesomeness. And hello to everybody in the chat. I said hi, hi to most of them already. Uh, let's see. Hello, Melinda. Hello, Kim. Uh, let's see. I said hi to Sonia. Uh, I said hi to Linda. Yeah, commercials. Hello, Deirdre. Um, anyway, um, this is last week's. I'm kind of happy with this one, kind of. I mean, I'm not over the moon happy with it, but it might be painted over. I don't know yet. I'm not good with one chain, okay? And this one was the one I totally flubbed up. <laughs> yeah, I flubbed it up, didn't I? Big time. So this one is definitely going to be painted over. I, I, I let it dry, but I thought, no, I can gesso over it. <laughs> so anyway, these are the two from the last time I was live. Thank you all for being patient with me. Um, I'll explain something to you for those of you that don't know, um, because I don't talk about it a lot on my lives. I have a disability. Oh, and I keep forgetting to send send the send the name of it to Joy because she wanted to look it up. It's called Charcot Marie Tooth Disease. I've had 16 surgeries so far, so I can have problems with my feet. And one of them last week, I felt like I was walking on little shards of glass, and I had to go see the doctor. Anyway, this is oh, okay. I gotta put. Well, nope, I can't do it that way either. Hang on trying to get the whole thing on camera okay um these are going to be the giveaways later i got six pretties almost all four four of them one through four are completely done except for me signing the back they got their little hangers see okay these still have to get um varnished and get a hanger but i ended up painting the sides black and I got a little spot right there I got to fix. But this is for later in the show. We're going to have a giveaway. Well, two of them, really. I got two numbers. I got to I gotta mark A and B so I can remember um, which one is which. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Let me put my water right there. Okay, let me put this right here. Um trying to figure this out how I'm going to do this because I want to bring the camera down just a little closer okay up oh, up oh. sorry for the ride y'all um hey Darnell nice to see you and hail Jeff B um hello Roxanne you think I need a helper? Nah. And hello, Kelly. For those of you that I still owe butterflies to, um, I got four of them done. And I just got to make the cardboard box for the outside of two of them, okay? So this is what I'm going to be pouring on today. And that's my cup for my, um, for my chains. I'll, I'll, I'll get it right yet. Okay, up oh, first I better put on some gloves, huh? And I'm going to get my baby powder out because one size fits all doesn't help me. Um, there, there, 
I'm, I must not have the same size hands as everybody else because <laughs> they don't fit. They're a little tight on me. I did have to cut my nails off the other day. So, see, I'm not struggling really with the baby powder in there. But now I'm not going to poke holes in the fingertips because of my claws. Your auto. Oh, hello, Fatima. Uh, Fatima. I'm oh, sorry. Um, and let's see who else is here that I missed. Hello, all of my viewers of awesomeness. Let me say that while I'm standing here, or sitting here, I should say, putting these gloves on. Okay. Uh, this might end up being over an hour. I don't know yet. But I want to do two butterflies. I, well, I'll do one butterfly. I'll do the other two shapes, and we'll see what time it is. And then I might just, you know, um, stop with just one butterfly. Okay. So first, and I didn't, um, I didn't uh, pre-paint these. I might regret that, but it's not um, because I always have to paint the sides anyway after I'm done. So I might as well just leave it the way it is because um, I can always um, cover it what doesn't get covered on the sides later because I wasn't happy with those two, the ring pour and the flip cup one that I did a while back. Okay, let me turn it a little bit so I can get it a better angle. Um, see, this, this goes on pretty good without it being pre-painted. Whoops. That might help if I leave some paint on there, huh? Okay, let me just get a paper towel to wipe this off so I don't go getting it all over the pee pads. And hello, Miss Seriani. I think... Yeah, there she is. Hello, Miss Seriani, a.k.a. Sophia Loren. I don't know why we started calling her that, but it's stuck. Okay, uh, my torch, there it is. I want a torch just to make sure I have no air bubbles. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to do... Some Prussian blue, some primary blue, and some um, primary yellow. And just going to put it around the side. And I do have some spoons because. When you pull your chain through, even though you're trying not to drag too much paint with you, you still do. So, you end up with a lot of paint in the middle where the chain goes. And I have spoons to take care of that. Okay, that was Prussian blue. Um, wait a minute, I'm not going to put the yellow in there. I'm going to put the primary blue and I think I'm gonna put some copper in it too. See how, I thought that was a booger for a minute. Yes, Linda, take a shot. I thought I saw a booger. Okay. Just, I only did three right there. Okay, let's see what they're saying in the chat. Well, hello, Bruce. Nice to see you. Oops, I got a whisper. Bruce is here. Now, I don't know how the copper, I'm hoping it looks good, looks with the blue, but we're going to try it. You know, hey, it's only paint. If I'm not happy with it, I can paint over it. Okay, a little drop there, there, one little drop up here, one right there. See, I don't want a lot of copper, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, 
now. Um, that, that copper is Amsterdam metallic copper. Primary cyan and Prussian blue are also Amsterdam. And my base coat on here is the, um, is um, just um, Amsterdam titanium white. Okay. I think, I think I got a chain that's too long, but oh well. We'll see. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. I'm trying to get it on top of the paint. Yep. Chain is way too long for this, but that's okay. That's okay. I can just hold the rest up. Not drop it, but hold it up. Okay. Very, very carefully. Didn't get a lot of copper in there, did I? Okay, spoon to wipe out my paint. PB cup. Okay. Sorry, I missed what, what was going on in the chat, and all I saw was PB cup. Now, let me do a chain on the other side, which of course it's still too long of a chain, but oh well, I will deal with it. Okay. Just don't get the other end of it in there. Damn it. Wrapped around my finger. Okay, here we go. I'm missing some color up there. Hmm. Let me try this again. See if I can get that color to spread out a little. Yeah, there we go. Well, now it doesn't look like the other side, but oh well. Okay. Chain in there. Spoon to pick up my excess. Okay, and I do have shorter ones for the bottom pedal. pedal. See, see what you get me doing, Bruce? See what you get? Oh. And I always do this now, or try to remember to do this, because Kim told me to do it. It might be easier. Okay. Uh, what am I looking at here? Okay, I want to go up here. Sorry I'm not looking at the chat. happy with that one either but it's not going to look perfect thank you patty what i didn't do anything yet yeah you did you showed up <laughs> we love you bruce you know that we love you i still got your three amigos around here somewhere i just don't know where i put them at uh, oh there they are i see i see one of their heads sticking out Okay, last chain. Okay, uh, I want to start it down here. Okay, now. See, well, at least now it's going to match the other side.
and before I pick up that paint that's in the middle I'm going to spread it down as the body a little bit because I got a lot of copper right there so I might as well make the body look like copper and yeah I do want to do a little bit on these little I don't know what they're called but they're the the tail of the uh of the uh, wing okay hmm I gotta turn him around to see how he looks well I like him not perfect not symmetrical, but then if you look at a real butterfly in life, oh, hello, Larry, it's okay to lurk, lurk away, honey, and hello, Shelly, and hello, Christy, and let's see, did I miss somebody else? If I missed you, I'm sorry, you're all my viewers of awesomeness, but I am, I suck at reading the chat. <laughs> okay, let me torch and bring it up for a close-up. not exactly symmetrical but I'm wondering I think I'm gonna do that chain over there one time to make it look like the other one not as dark of blue there we go there we go oops now I need to go in there and fix what I just dragged across the body okay I'm happier with the top wings now and even though I messed up with the white right there and I'm gonna put that little baby to bed right over here because I'm trying to keep everything on one tray and I'm gonna do the other two and then we'll see what time it is because I don't want to keep you all too long but I had to do I had to do some more butterflies I'm probably gonna end up giving away the um, let me wipe off the paint uh, I think I'm going to do Mr. Owl. Isn't he cute? Oops, is never a good sign. Yeah, thank you, Moose. Bam. See what you started, uh, Shannon? Okay. First thing I'm going to do, yeah, I just about got, I'm going to put my base coat now, I was thinking on an owl. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Payne's gray, cadmium red, and a gold. Just black, red, and gold. Okay, there's my spatula. I pulled out a lot of paints, but then I wasn't sure. I didn't have a brown mixed up, and I wanted to use a brown in the doggy. But, hey, you know, it's an abstract dog, so it doesn't have to be actual fur colors, right? Okay, now, what I am thinking of doing is, and I, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm thinking of doing the whole head as one chain um, pulling it towards me and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do dots 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 and then pull it up towards the middle so they'll kind of meet in the middle and then I'll probably have to drag something through the middle to make it look cohesive you know marry marry the marry the designs 
you know, hopefully. Okay, I need a clean paper towel. Hello, Rochelle. Miss Rochelle and Miss Ke um, whoever else I owe a butterfly to, they're all ready to be weighed. They're all, they got their backs done. They got their um, 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 fronts done. They got themselves um, got a hanger glued on the back. Okay, yeah, Payne's gray, uh, carmine red, and I'll do the deep gold with these dark colors. Yeah, cohesive. Yeah, yeah. I want to make the two halves of the of the of the uh, owl look cohesive. I know that sounds weird. Okay. Do not know what this is going to look like. Can't guarantee that it's going to turn out cute. I've never done one of these, but you know me. I like to do things for the first time in front of you guys. I'm either... Yeah, I got these at Dollar Twenty Five Tree Store. I actually put... The, I didn't put the... I didn't put, I don't have all the colors listed in the description. But I actually put <laughs> that I got them at the dollar twenty-five tree store. <laughs> well, I'm not. I can't call it a dollar tree anymore. Okay, red, and then I'm gonna give it little pops of gold around it. Looks like Hello Kitty with wings. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I can see that. Okay, come on. Get down to the bottom. I don't have much left in this bottle. So if my bottle farts, I apologize for it now. But anybody who pours paint and has it in a bottle knows bottles fart. And they have no manners whatsoever. Okay, let me see here now. Okay, I'm trying to think. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna do pull both sides at once. So let me. Okay, come on, stay on the bird. Stay on top of the bird. Don't fall off the edge chain. Okay. I didn't get a lot right there. Let me see if I can redo that spot. Oh, I got a lot. I put way, way, way too much paint in there. I can see it now. Oh, so Larry is here. Girls too, or, or, or girls toot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't fart, we toot. But you know, they got that commercial out that says that, that women do go number two. I think it's so funny. Um, hmm, I want to do something to fix that. So, where's a very, very short chain? Yeah, there we go. I want to see if I can fix this. Okay, now I'll get rid of... Because this is all going to get covered up down here with what I put on the uh, bottom of them. Not exactly what I thought he would turn out to be, but less paint, way less paint. 
Cadillac girls don't fart. Oh my God. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, Justine. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me try to put less paint. put some red. Ah, red, there it is. Well, hello, Robin. Nice to see you. Okay, carmine red. Whoops. Little bit too much. And some copper. I do like the copper in there. The copper does look, or no, that's metallic deep gold. Or did I put? Yeah, I put metallic deep gold in there. I thought I had said copper. Okay. Oh, I did copper in the other one. Oh, I am batting a thousand a day. Okay, come on, get down on the bottom of the bottle, so I don't have to squeeze too hard. Okay, now let's see what we can do with this one up here, or on his bottom. Okay. Okay, I want to make sure I'm getting the longest chain in this set out of here, because that does look like a lot. Okay. And I'm not going to try to pull two ends at once. I am just basically going to lay it down. go good chain good chain go where I want you to okay I do want to have a straight line right here so let me try doing this with the excess paint because I do want you to see where his head and his body's at I'm looking at them upside down. Well, you guys are too, but. Okay, let me turn him around. He's kind of cute. It's not what I thought he would be. Squeeze it like you mean. Okay, I am totally lost. Dina, 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 dear, nice to see you, honey. I have missed you, too, terribly, girl. Say hello to the hubs. Say hello to your grandson. I miss you guys. Yeah, the tail feathers are great. His, his head doesn't look so good, you know. Um... see about dragging some of this this way <sighs> he's gonna have to stay like that I I'm at a loss as to how to fix it to make it look good I can just smear it with the spoon too <laughs> okay you're dirty okay well here is little Mr. Owl. Anybody can come up with a better way to put the paint, to pull the chain across him to make him look better. Please take a take a shape a shape of an owl 
draw a line around where the chain would go and, the, and then put little arrows in the direction I should pull it because I am at a loss. I know what the dog, I know what I'm going to do, okay? And let me just get a clean one over here. I know what I'm going to do with the dog. I'm going to start at the top of his back and pull straight down. Okay, I'm going to put you right there. Okay, time for a new set of gloves. It does look like a cat. One eye open and a scarf. Okay. <laughs> well, if anybody has any suggestions, because I've never, I'm not that great of a chain puller to tell you the truth, you know. I mean, I've been practicing on butterflies. Okay, time to switch out the gloves because the other ones were filthy. Um, I think, I think I'm going to do him in a couple of shades of blue with some gold. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put white on him and I'm going to put some little dots right here and I'm basically just going to pull them down. You know. Everybody's so used to seeing what the chain pulls look like in flowers, and it's not as easy to do it on an animal shape or any type of other shape. Yes, go ahead and be honest, Ruth. Give me your honest opinion, sir. I will not unfriend you. Uh, Mona's probably busy. Either Mona's busy or Mona's mad at me. Because I, I took a nap and I missed her premiere the other night. You would scrape it all off and pour it? Well, I'm trying to do chain pulls, okay? These are, well, these were bought back when they were a dollar, so these only cost me a dollar, okay? And it's just paint. So, thank you for the suggestion, Bruce. But... I mean, you saw the hearts that I did. I wasn't happy with them. So, okay, wait a minute. My palette knife is sticking. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just practicing and playing around. I figure even if I'm not doing it right, somebody might see something and try it differently. And please, if you do try it differently and it works, shoot me an email at doorsford at yahoo.com. Send me a picture. Maybe do me a little diagram as to, as to where you put your chains at and which direction you pulled them in because I would love to learn a better way. Okay, now looking at, oh, shoot, I didn't get, didn't get that covered. Looking at him, I'm wondering if I should do his head this way and maybe pull it that way and get the little, yeah, I think I will. I think I will. I'm going to do the dots here. Wait a minute. How am I going to? I'm going to do the dots around his head, lay the chain down, and then I'm going to, okay, I got to, I had him the right way. <laughs> you know, when you're doing something for the first time and you got to, you, you don't want to just jump in and do it. You want to think it out a little bit, you know, pre-plan just a little bit. Okay, Bruce. Hey, you, no problem, honey. No, no problem at all. Okay. I'm going to do him in blues. I think I'm going to do him in a greenish blue pearl, which is just some greenish blue by Amsterdam mixed with Vallejo pearl. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put a dot there, there, there. If anybody recognizes it, this is one of those uh, barbecue bottles with the little sayings on it from um, Dollar Twenty Five Tree. 
they didn't have any clear ones that day okay yep leave him out because I'm gonna do him again uh, and I think think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the turquoise blue up there too I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the same thing on the body okay whoops and just a couple of little spots of gold in there. Both of those were uh, blue turquoise and greenish blue with some Vallejo pearl. They're both by Amsterdam. This is my 24 karat gold Deco Art Americana Decor gold. By the way, all these paints today, because I'm trying to use them up and I have a lot mixed, are mixed with Flow Troll. A little bit of gold okay that's supposed to signify the brown but like I said he's an abstract dog so let's see what everybody's saying well you just gotta play like like I said it's only paint practice on cheap items like these Okay. Yep. I want the nose. Get over on the nose. There we go. I want the ear tip. Okay. Ready or not, here we go. And I gotta do it slower. Because that's been part of my problem, too. Is I'm going too fast. Come on, come on. I'm gonna end up covering up where I'm dragging the chain at. Pretty good pretty good if I do say so okay let me see yep now I got a clean spoon so let me get rid of some of this paint down here because I'm thinking okay let me ask you guys this should I do the chain going this way and pull it to where it's coming down or should I put the chain this way and pull it to where it's going this way? Make the lines go totally different. Give me, give me an idea. Should I go, should I go vertical or horizontal with my pulling? Let's see what the votes are in the chat. Uh, uh, no, no. What's the no for, uh, Larry? Okay. Vertical, which would be going this way and pulling it down, or horizontal, where I go this way and I pull it this way. This way. Put the chain this way and pull it down this way. Okay. Okay, I see horizontal, vertical, vertical, horizontal, vertical, because vertical would go this way. I think I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put the dots up here, and then i got to make sure i got a really, really long chain. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. I don't want to have to cut another one. Okay, so let me do... Do dots going up here. I will worry about his tail after I get the body and the legs done. Okay. 
Now I'm seeing a bunch of horizontals. Well, I've already started with vertical. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I've already started with vertical. splashes of gold. There's my gold. Had to look for a minute. Linda's hiding my paints on me again, so stop it, Linda. Linda's getting really bad about hiding... Yeah, I do, I do, but I gotta work with what I got. No, no way I can get around it, okay. Yep, okay, so let me start the chain right here. Put it all the way up here, all the way down the doggy's leg. And then first I'm going to start pulling it this way, sideways, until I get it to come in. Now I'm going to pull it down and across a little bit at the same time. And unfortunately, my gold is not showing up. I am liking the way this chain pulled right here turned out on his body. I like that. Now, let me just give him a little a little color on his tail. Ah, oh, isn't he adorable? Isn't he adorable? Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to fool with that. It doesn't look like there's a lot of paint there. I mean, I'm going to touch it up, touch it just a little bit. But I don't want to mess up a whole lot on here. Oh, he's of course I'm going to put a little eye on. Oops. I got a Okay. Uh torch there you are. I am leaving it. I am leaving it. He's just so cute. And you can see a little button nose. I forgot. Well, what kind of dog does this shape look like to y'all? I thought it might be a, a Yorkshire Terrier. It's a little, it's one of those little yapping dogs. But look, look at this little cute button nose. And his little tail even turned out good. Look at that. I'm happy with this one. I'm very, very happy with this one. Let's see what time it is. Uh, you know what? I'll save that butterfly for another day. Um, when, when, these, when these pieces right here get dry, I will be putting them in the rotation of giveaways. Okay? Scotty, thank you, Linda. Thank you. I was thinking Yorkshire Terrier, I wasn't sure. Okay, I'm trying to move my bottles back because I'm gonna switch out the trays after I remove my glass of water, which now I put it right next to my water, water bottle, so I hope I don't uh, try to drink out of it. <laughs> okay, let me do that. You have to excuse the fact that you can see the, see the thing around it, oops. Let me put that on the bottle. Okay. I'm going to do a slow... Oh, hello, Gertrude. You're just in time for the giveaway, honey. And I'm going to show off the three that I just did. Okay. Let me... Let me... Sh this is the butterfly. I'm kind of happy with it. Okay. Now, this is... <sighs> I gotta put it up anyway for the for the other tray. So let me just bring it up so I can then uh, 
sorry for the ride, y'all. Don't get dizzy. Okay, here's the owl who looks like he has a scarf on. <laughs> and here's my little Scotty Terrier. And I'm very, very happy with the way he turned out. I'm going to have to do a diagram and, and put on, put on, do lines on it so I can remember how I pulled him. He's so cute. Okay, let me change this out for the tray of the giveaways. Because it is that time, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. It is that time. Uh, where's my, oh, there's, there it is. I was looking for my little gong handle. It is that time. You don't type any numbers in the chat until you see me type the word go. Now, of course, the timing's going to be just a little off because the word go is going to go in there before you hear me saying it. Okay. But it's a number between 1 and 50. Winner pays shipping. These two still need to get coated on the front. And the back's cleaned up and hangers put on. But these four can go in a box Monday morning and go out. Okay. So. So. Um, it's a number between 1 and 50. Um, oops. It might help if I put it in caps. Huh. You guys would probably appreciate that. I've got two numbers. But I'm only doing one number at a time. So when you see the word go in the chat. You can start typing numbers. Um, the first number is on this card. It's a, I got it marked as A, and then I got card B over here, and I got my little cheat sheet right in front of me <laughs> because I would forget what the numbers are. So, on your mark, get set, and go. Yeah, refresh your screens, live chat like Shannon said. And I'm watching the numbers. Well, it might be better if I watch it on my phone. Still don't see it. It's not that hard of a number either. I know, last week one of the numbers was just terrible. Uh-oh. Is this going to be another one? Ah, we have a winner. We have a winner. It's Miss Lupe, or Miss Maria, Lupe Blind Art Studio, with number 15. That is a five. I know it looks funny. <laughs> I know it looks funny. So, Miss Lupe, by number, um, tell me which one you want. One, two, three, four, five, or six. These can go out, one of these can go out Monday. These can go out in about a week or so. So just say uh, number, number, whatever, you know. And then you also have to email me your uh, name and address um, to my email, which is doris at yahoo.com. Okay, I'm just going to put Loopy, Loopy Blind Art Studio. Okay, um, so which which one do you want, Maria? Number three? Okay, I'm going to put Maria. Now, you have to tell me in the email what your, um, what your, uh, uh, your whole address, because I need to know where to ship it to, and I need to figure out, I need to figure out where to, uh, okay, I'll just put you right there. Okay, so... That number's out of the way. Got another number. Got another number right here. All it says on there is B. Okay. That's the first time you've won from me, Marie, I think. Okay. Same same thing. Oops. Might help if I put it in caps. Same thing as before. Okay. Number between 1 and 50. And there you go. Second drawing. I'm watching the numbers. B, no, that doesn't work, Jeff. <laughs> uh, 
keep it's not that hard of a number and I don't do the same number twice up oh, up oh, up oh, stop 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 we got a winner it's Miss Bonnie at Bonnie's Fluid Creations Art with the number 30. Miss Bonnie, and she's a first time winner. Let's give it up for my winner, yay! First time winners. Sorry that I have to charge shipping, but I give so, give so much stuff away, I'd go broke with the shipping. Okay, so I'm gonna put Bonnie's name on here. Now, Miss Bonnie, all I need from you is which um, which number butterfly you want. And um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Well, I mean, it might be better if I got looked at my phone. Uh, one, two, four, five, or six. Number six. You got it, honey. Number six, it's going to take about a week or so. i got to varnish the front, but I've got a tray ready for varnishing. Um, but still, I might know how much it weighs because i got four others I'm mailing out Monday. Um, so that is Bonnie's. And then let me get this one over here back, which is Maria's. Okay, so who goes live tomorrow night, Larry and Angie, or is it Ryan? That's all I needed to know. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see if anybody said anything in the chat. Okay, so this one is, this one has a new forever home with Miss Maria, and this one has a new forever home with Miss Bonnie. Okay, Larry does. Okay, so tomorrow night at 8 p.m., Eastern over on Crunchberry's Playhouse. It's Larry and Angie. Okay, and then I'll be back Tuesday and then Thursday Please keep your eyes peeled for a premiere over at Mo Art Flow by Mo I'll try to be there if you're watching this after the fact Mona. I'm sorry I took laid sat out on the couch and I actually fell asleep before your premiere <laughs> Oh Oh, thank you, Joy B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, honey. I appreciate you. You're a viewer of awesomeness. Um, thank you, Moose. Um, anyway, yep, Disco Dabo. Um, and then, okay, so Tuesday, it's me at 7 p.m. Eastern. Usually around 9 p.m. Eastern, if uh, Mona has it up, it'll be on her Art Flow by Mo channel. And then Saturday, it all starts over on Moose's channel again at 6 p.m. Eastern, which is 3 p.m. Pacific. That's the first half of the Moose and Crazy show. Her being Moose, me being crazy. <laughs> Um, now, I, and I don't know with her whether she's going to have a live or a premiere, but y'all are very, very understanding about every, every time we have problems. Oh, thank you, Joy. I love you too, girl. So, listen, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you. I love each and every one of you. My mods of awesomeness, who I couldn't do this without, and my viewers of awesomeness, who keep me coming back every week because I love to hear you talk in the chat even if you're talking about trivial stuff oh it should be alive oh okay well you too and and anybody else on the west coast stay safe stay safe out there i i know i know i know and um i promise you i will be here tuesday night i will not go to the doctor's office again so I've given you the lineup for the week until next Saturday, so there's only one thing I can say besides how much I love you guys, and that is bye for now.